Okay, welcome to this short PS4 PlayStation Plus premium showcase of the streaming functionality and how that all works and what is in the catalog. So I recently tried to get my Fallout 3 to work on my PC and I just couldn't get it to work. So I saw or tried I tried to see if I can play Fallout 3 on my PlayStation 4, which is possible but only in the stream mode. Which I did already, I have some German parts on that. I've now figured out how to get everything into English too, which is, well, working with the settings and restarting the PlayStation so I can play it with PlayStation Plus. I've also downloaded or not downloaded, get streaming ready, got streaming ready some diff different games, mostly the faster games. So I can stream Rage now, I can stream Doom, I can stream Greedful. They have a big catalog, PlayStation Plus for the three months that I can play them, PlayStation Plus Premium that is. Cost me three months 50 euros, which is quite a lot. Apparently I also can play those games on my PC, which is something I'm gonna test next if that is possible and how that works, which I'm gonna also throw you into this video. And they have a big catalog of what you can play. Let me just get into that. They got a classic catalog and a cloud streaming catalog. The cloud streaming catalog got games like Spider-Man and Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you've seen Doom, you've seen Fallout 3, you got Fallout 4, you got Fallout New Vegas, you got some classic games that are definitely worth it, like those games right here. Those games are definitely way worth the downloading qualities. Downloading qualities, the gaming qualities, <laughs> that is. So, definitely a few games that are worth the while. We got the Arkham games here, we got Bioshock here, remastered versions of 2, 3 and 1, which are definitely worth playing. I'm pretty sure everything is the same on the PlayStation 5. So you got a lot of good games here to choose from. Where's Doom? Somewhere here. Doom. And Resident Evil has a lot of games, the Fallout games, Fallout 76 even, the newest Fallout game. Far Cry games, so that is pretty much the big catalog you got here. There was God of War, definitely. God of War Ascension Remastered, not all of God of War games. There was something else here that I was interested in, which I saw recently. Ah, here yeah, the Invincible franchise, so many games. Kingdom Come Deliverance is actually something I bought and never quite played. So the catalog of games to play is big. Lost Planet, got that also on my PC. It's quite a good game. Metro games were quite good. So how this works, so far back out again. If you choose one game, you can choose sometimes if you want to stream that or buy that. With Fallout 3, which I didn't get to run on my PC, I just click it. Then the streaming, it prepares the game to stream. The Spiel wird vorbereitet means it prepares it to stream. Some of it is in German still, so not everything got switched into English. And um, you can let PlayStation send you an email so you can play those games on your PC. If you download the PlayStation app then so that's something that's more interesting. I'm gonna mess around with that, especially with Fallout. And if I can get modding to work and my game to work on this way, I will be more than happy. Signed in. It mostly takes me uh, around one to two minutes to get the game prepared, but it's quicker to um Get it prepared like that, then downloading the whole game and having five different games downloaded at the same time, which is pretty much the biggest problem of the PS4. The well, 
you can't download that much. I have Call of Duty installed, Cold War, and that is such a big game already that you can't really download and install more than two games or three games with that. I got optional an eternal disc, and even that is too difficult and weird to install everything, and it kind of ruins the mood. So I feel like streaming a game is a good option with the PS4 can tell you how it works with the PS5 I'll assume right quite similarly right annoyed okay so this game is still in German so I guess you need to install the game while your setting is in your main mother language or the language you want to play the game in which means that I got now Fallout and Rage installed in German the streaming version and I got Greedfall and Doom installed in English because I switched it around to the English settings when I installed the streaming. Yep, it's German. Everything is German in here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Don't look at me creep. Got them Jericho sitting here. Which is also an interesting thing if you are trying to blame two languages. If I start Greedfall right now, Greed 4 will be in English for me. Uh, not the main menu thing. Yeah, here you can get an email sent so you can play on your PC, which is what I'm gonna test right afterwards. But I'm just gonna see if everything works here as intended, which is another game that I downloaded. Let's see. I'm gonna, in the meantime, log into my GameX account and see. If the email is already here and done, test that. There are definitely some PlayStation 3 games I would like to see in the premium version that I wanted to play since a long time, which would be the Resistance franchise, for example. That would be an interesting one for me to finally play again on PC or PlayStation 4. play with the game yeah this game is in english now which is just an interesting little fact to know and you blah blah bless press the playstation button and get out through that okay i'm gonna test to set up my pc variant my pc app version of this streaming service and test that also real quick in this video Yo, we out. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, my PlayStation 4 died. It just died today. So one month later almost, I'm gonna continue with the PS Premium Plus update. And I'm already here. Have, I've installed everything. It wasn't quite as easy as I wanted to. Because... Every time I clicked on that email link right here, this popped up, service unavailable, DNS failure. So I searched it up manually, got here, clicked this download link. It's German on my side, on your side it might be English. I'm gonna link that up for you, so you can find that easier. Then I got this EXA, I installed that EXA. I got this PlayStation Plus needed to log in here on my desktop. Logged in here. This game is running at the moment with my profile. So I can play now on my PC. That's my recording device. Let's full screen that. Load into the game. It's, it's German. It's German. This should be pretty much full screened now. Hopefully. I'm gonna have to test around with that more. Since my PlayStation died, I need to start recording from my PC now. And this is partly a desk recording to see if everything works. I see my mouse cursor here. Very nice. Lovely. <laughs> I'm not pissed off at all. Not at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just things don't quite work out most of the times. And I'm pretty sure my PlayStation 4 is dead now. 
So I actually need to play like that. Okay, this seems to work. It is not smooth. Not smooth at all. But it works. I'm gonna play different games in the future on my channel. I've played Bland. I've Bland Creed 4. I've Bland Horizon all with the PlayStation Plus premium abo. And yeah. Guess guess I'm can save it here. Whatever. Whatever. You get the point. You get the point. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Peace out.